step by elegant step, Meghan Markle is transforming the royal family. Yesterday's announcement by Buckingham Palace that Prince Harry's fiancée will join the Queen for Christmas as Sandringham and attend the traditional church service is not just a benevolent gesture from monarch to a much-loved grandson. Instead, it represents a sea change in the Victorian attitudes which for so long have coloured the royal approach to modern life. No such invitation was extended to Kate Middleton, nor to Camilla Parker Bowles, and certainly not to Lady Diana Spencer, before they married into the family. But it is the manner in which Meghan is being fast-tracked into royal life long before her wedding that is so startling. For I can reveal that earlier this week the American actress had another unusual starring role, accompanying Harry and the Queen to the royal household Christmas party hosted by the Lord Chamberlain at Windsor Castle. In a more intimate rerun of her first engagement, at Harry's side in Nottingham earlier this month, Meghan plunged into a sea of welcoming faces gathered in the castle's great reception rooms. This time they were footmen, housemaids, butlers and pages, the domestic staff and gardeners who keep Buckingham Palace and the other royal residences ticking over. While the Queen, escorted by Prince Andrew and her cousins the Dukes of Gloucester and Kent, was greeted with affection, all eyes inevitably were on the smiling figure of Meghan. Wearing a burgundy lacy cocktail dress, demurely cut just below the knee, she moved easily though the crowd of well-wishers just as she had a fortnight earlier, accepting congratulations from the men and women who in a few months' time will address her as Your Royal Highness. At the party, the formality was kept to a minimum with handshakes rather than curtsies. She asked everyone she met their names and what they did, one guest told me. It was very natural. Just as he had in Nottingham, Harry showed his confidence in her by allowing her to work her part of the room alone. As the 900 guests sipped flutes of mum champagne or Sandringham apple juice, Meghan, who didn't drink, circulated through the Waterloo Chamber, St George's Hall and the Grand Reception Room where her own wedding reception will be held next May. It took her more than an hour. In fact, Meghan disclosed that she and Harry had spent last weekend at Windsor looking over the state rooms as they began making plans for the wedding. Clearly the benefit of being at Monday night's party was to experience what the same rooms are like when they are full of people. Her presence was a surprise to staff, who laughed when the Lord Chamberlain, Earl Peel, said in his address with masterful understatement that next year would be a busy one. He didn't have to mention the royal wedding. But it is the breathtaking speed with which the star of the TV show Suits is being absorbed into the royal world, while still not a royal, that has amazed even the most up-to-date courtiers. Meghan and Harry announced their engagement on November 27, travelled to their first public outing on December 1, and will be seen in public with all the senior members of the royal family in 11 days' time when they attend the traditional Christmas Day service at St Mary Magdalene Church on the Queen's estate in Norfolk. It will be a testing time for Los Angeles-born Meghan. Christmas at Sandringham is a daunting prospect for an outsider, even one as poised as the 36-year-old Ms Markle. Meghan's presence means that this Christmas will be a historic one. No unmarried partner has ever been permitted to sit around that polished long table in the green wall dining room, hung with Spanish tapestries, for the family lunch. Even though she too, was newly engaged at Christmas 2010, Kate had to wait until the following year after her wedding to receive an invitation. She is now a veteran of six such Christmases, 